Well, folks, it's been a hell of a day for our buddy Cloud. Now, you might think that after a little bit of mindless terrorism, he might want to, you know, put his feet up, get a little bit of a lay of the land first before deciding on his next move. So, uh, we're doing the terrorism thing, aren't we? Hey up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. So, after blowing up Marco Reactor 1, the gang escapes to the neighbouring Sector 8 where... What are you doing, Biggs, mate? They make a plan to meet up at the station to catch the train to take them back to their hideout in Sector 7. As Cloud makes his way, he bumps into a flower girl who for some reason would rather make a few gill than flee from all the commotion of the reactor explosion, but we buy her wares anyway and continue onwards. Shinra are hot on Cloud's tail though, so we take this opportunity to kick their asses whilst picking up a little bit of experience in the process. Cloud escapes the ambush and jumps onto the roof of the oncoming train, where we meet up again with Avalanche. Hot for Cloud, Jesse then takes a moment to explain how trains work in Midgar and the security system they employ before we finally arrive back in Sector 7. It's here at 7th Heaven where we meet Tifa, Cloud's long-lost childhood friend. Cloud's in a little bit of a mood after all the terrorism today, so he refuses Tifa's drink at the bar and picks a fight with Barrett before thinking, f*** this for a game of soldiers, I'm off. Tifa follows him back upstairs and proceeds to bang on about the past and some promise he can barely remember making all those years ago. We agree to help out, for a price of course, and after spending the night with Barrett, head on out onto Marco Reactor 5. The train journey starts off smoothly enough, until the fake IDs the gang are using don't bypass the Shinra security system, forcing us to jump off the train miles away from where we actually need to be, thanks to Jesse's fuck up. Now finally in the reactor, Whee! We make our way to the core to set the bomb. Cloud has yet another brain fart, but this time we see a younger Tifa over the body of her father, claiming <laughs> did this, didn't he? Bomb set, and it's time to GTFO. We make our way to the reactor exit, not before we have to endure this f***ing mini game that I hate. I genuinely cannot remember how many times I've played this game. And that is the first time I have done that on the first try. Security disabled, we head out of the reactor to face the second boss of the game. Hey up YouTube, welcome back to the channel and our Final Fantasy VII No Random Encounters Challenge. Um, if you haven't seen us kick the guard scorpion's ass blindfolded, then um, check out the uh, previous video. Um, but yeah, today, here we are. Marco, or... Mako, Marco, Reactor 5, um, the second bombing mission, we are about to take on the infamous Airbuster. Now, something I couldn't do in the last video um, was show you all of the loadouts for the characters and how we are going to be setting them up for each boss battle. Um, but now, because we do now have access to the materia menu, um, before each boss, I'll just go through um, how I've set the characters up and um, you know what and what I've um, what I've done to get there. So uh, yeah, so we are just about to go into the Airbus uh, boss, like I said, Airbuster boss, like I just said. And yeah, so uh, let's just have a quick look at our loadouts here. So um, as you saw in the recap video, um, oh, something I must say as well is something that I haven't mentioned as of yet. Because this is a no encounters run, Gil is going to be very, very hard to come by, particularly in the earlier stages of the game. So we've got to be really, really frugal with how we spend his money. So I'm not going to be spending an awful lot. I'm just going to be spending a little bit here and there just to basically think about what I may need. Um, Maybe just a few little defensive buffs and the things like that. Um, so I'll just show you what um, we've got. So if we look at Cloud's materia, Cloud's is pretty, Cloud's is exactly the same as it was for um, the um, Guard Scorpion fight. There's nothing different there. We move on to Barrett. I quite like to make Barrett a bit of a tank in these games. Um, so I, while ever Barrett is in the party, he will predominantly be doing a lot of the healing. So as you can see here, we've got Restore and All materia. Um, Moving on to um, our lovely friend Tifa here, who has just joined the party, Cloud's childhood friend. Um, we just equip her with a fire materia that we bought, um, which will become, it'll become clear why we bought that fire materia. The next, I think it's the next boss fight coming up after this, it'll, it'll be apparent, because um, that particular enemy has a witness to fire. Um, I also bought all three of them an iron bangle. Um, they, they weren't particularly expensive. I bought three iron bangles and sold the bronze bangles that they all have. Just basically just to add a, a little bit more of a uh, D 
defensive stack to them. Right, so um, let's uh, go and kick uh, Airbuster's ass, uh, shall we? Um, again, this should be pretty easy, um, considering he t tends to take a lot of damage from behind, but that big bomber attack can be a little bit of a nuisance. So um, let's uh, go and... Um, yeah, let, let's go and take on the Airbuster. Here we go then, here we go. Right, right. Uh, Barrett, uh, oh no, just attack. Uh, Cloud uh, can... Oh no, because if I just normal attack, I'm probably going to get more. Oh, a limit, here we go, right. You can turn around. Please turn around, thank you. Right, here we go. Uh, Tifa, um, I'm going to wait because you're going to turn around again. I hope he's going to turn around again. No, he's not. So I'm just going to attack the Tifa. Oh, Christ. Right. Okay, I'm going to need Barrett to do some healing now because that is going to do about 100 damage. 98. Magic Cure, this boy, oh, okie dokie, right, you can just attack again, Cloud. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, Cloud's dead. Cloud is dead. So, that, re that, that really didn't help. Right, well, I don't want him to miss out on the experience, so we're going to have to use a Phoenix down. Uh, and you're going to have, then you're going to cure him again? No, we're going to have to get you to cure those two. Oh, thank you, Tifa. Right. You can get Cloud a potion. Big shot. Attack. I think we're done. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Just take. He just takes absolute mad damage from behind. So you, it's just when he does that big bomber. When he does that big bomber, you, you, you're really, really screwed. Uh. So, yeah, we've had to use a, a Phoenix down, which I'd rather have not had to use, but couldn't have really been helped because I can't, we, you can't, like, not have the experience, um, especially in a room like this. The, any chance you get to have experience, you, 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 you take it. So, um, yeah, Cloud is now going to um, take a nice fall. And that's it! Airbuster, done! Um... Thanks a lot for uh, watching uh, the video again, uh, guys. Um, I hope you are enjoying. Um, if you have enjoyed, uh, please give the video uh, a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel um, for more of these videos. Um, I'm not quite sure on the on the schedule of, of the uploads yet, but I want to try and get these out to you, um, you know, on, on a regular basis. But yeah, um, thank you ever so much. Um, uh, please give us a, a like and a thumbs up uh, and a subscribe to the channel. Uh, my name's Matt better known as the Yorkshire Gamer, and thank you very much for watching.